everybody we're back for another fourth lesson this time we're going to look at arrays and we're going to see why fourth is so great for hacking on embedded systems uh before we get into that let's uh i just want to show you this uh this is a game boy emulator written in fourth it uses uh sdl2 which is a um uh game library, a library for creating games and other stuff, not just games. Um, oh, what's the, there's a, I can't remember what it was, a program I just saw was using it the other day. That's, it's not a game program at all, but it's, it was a good use case for it. But anyway, uh, so SDL2 is actually a C library. It's written in C. And, but fourth, you can, uh, you can bind it to C. You can, you can call C functions from fourth. And uh, that's what happens here in this sdl.fs function or FD, fs file. Um, you can see where the c dash function word is called and then the name of the function. And then um, uh, the name of the function in fourth, or no, well, I'm not sure which is which, I guess I can't remember, but one of them's the name of the function in fourth and one's the name of the function in C. And then this is um, the uh, value that is um, uh, fed into the function, that is passed into the function, and then this is the value that the function returns, or the type of value. So it's number, it, you pass in a number, and it returns a number. Um, I can't remember what A is. It's array or just any or I can't remember string or whatever it is but anyway that's a it's a fun little project to check out fourth boy uh, it hasn't been updated in a couple years but it's fun to I mean you can still mess around with it I actually haven't never ran it but I have uh, borrowed this uh, this SDL2 bindings just to mess around on my own so all right so let's look at some arrays in fourth. So just like arrays in C, uh, arrays in fourth are very primitive. Um, unlike with modern languages, uh, basically what arrays are pointers to memory locations, just like variables. Uh, and they are, so a variable is at a memory location, right? Like 1577, let's say that's a block of memory with, that's the address of it. Um, an array is just a consecutive series of blocks in memory so so just like that so that's that's basically an array in fourth very simple very fourth right uh, so here's how we you can create an array just by creating a variable um, just simply like that and then um, well not just like that but so we, we have our variable which has our uh, location in memory and then uh, what we do is we take our variable, uh, so we put our memory location on the stack, and then we put a number on top of that on the stack, and then we use the cells word, uh, which says, you know, uh, that's basically saying cells is, just think of it, blocks of memory. It's chunks of memory uh, that have an address. So uh, cells and then a lot. So, um, and that, that, reserves five cells or five blocks of memory for neat dash array variable. So it'll take the memory location that neat, of, neat array is at and it starts there, that's number one. And then the next memory block over is um, number two, the next over is three, four, and then five. So, um, so now we have a five uh, a array with five indices so we can you know five separate values like uh, blah 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 yeah so that's that could be an array um now uh to assign values to those locations in the arrays we can do something like this so uh, we put a value on the stack three, so that's uh, then we do need array, um, which puts our memory location of our need array variable. Then we put two on the stack in the cells. It's going to add two cells values to that memory location. So we're 
up to, so we're at need array, memory location, plus one, plus two, and then uh, this exclamation puts the three into that memory location, the value three. Another way of setting up an array, if you, you know, just to make it kind of more, so you're not using the variable word, you can actually just say create my array or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you can very simply just use the comma word to assign values. So what that does is um, the comma takes that, uh, the value that's on top of the stack. So in this last two here, it's gonna, this comma here is gonna take four from the top of the stack. And uh, it's gonna um, put whichever cell it is here, whichever cell is next, you know, available, it's gonna put that four in that cell or in that memory location. And then we can look at our array uh, by just doing a dump. And I'm just gonna dump 20 cells. Maybe if I make it full screen. Yeah. You can see uh, this is this is what one little block of memory looks like. This is all. This is um. I think it's binary. It might be hexadecimal. Yeah, oh, no, it's it's, he it's hexadecimal. So, um, but uh, so you can see the array here. So here's where it starts, right? And we you can see we put the value five there. Um, and this block of memory has the value five in it. This one has the value one, which is right next to that. Then the next one has the value two, and then three, and then four. And you can see that. And then um, these other ones just have, these are probably just, must just be like remnants from other stuff or whatever. They haven't been initialized. Um, you can see five cells. Yeah, so we allotted five cells, so it, you know, set those five cells available. These ones just, it's, it didn't clear those out or anything. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of fun. You're, you're actually poking around in memory on the computer, which is like, it can be dangerous, but it's also very hackerish and it's very, uh, a good way to learn stuff about the computer. And it's, it's a good, just a good thing to know, just, uh, you know, that memory, how, how, how computer memory works like that. It's good to know what you now know. And uh, um, something to watch out for, uh, just kind of a little heads up, I guess. Uh, so let's, so if we allot five cells to, if we create blah array and allot five cells to it, um, and then we do blah array um, five, four, Three, two, one. Um, did I do that right? Yeah. So since we already allotted um, cells to blah array, the additional the comma words went to the very end of what's already been allotted to the array and added on beyond that so if we um, look at blah array 20 cells dump uh, so here's our five that we allotted or five blocks so at the sixth block that's where it puts the five so you if you're gonna do um, the allot, you want to make sure um, that you just just be aware, I guess, that if then if you're using the commas, then it's going to uh, append onto that array instead of put it in the first spot in the array. So, um, if we want to get to specific values in an array, we can uh, you just that's to get the um, value that's stored in memory one is cell plus. And if we look, that would be this value, except instead of in hexadecimal, 
it's in decimal or it's in binary or no it's that's probably decimal yeah uh, and then um, if you want to get something beyond just the first cell you can do two cells plus and then um, let's see did that put it on the stack so that put the memory location on the stack if we want to put uh, the sorry I got my water thingy here my kombucha thingy here okay here we go um, we would do plus and then at so this is just like with variables that at converts that it takes that memory address and instead puts that value that's at that memory address onto the stack so there's the value that's on there which is what was that two cells blah array two cells so uh, this and then one two I believe uh, or it might be this one I'd have to play around with it a little bit I, I always I never can remember exactly but you know that's you kind of poke it and then you you get it and then you just keep keep with it um, but um, yeah I believe it's this one so so yeah that that pretty much covers arrays though um, it, I'm not I don't want to give you a whole bunch of different things with arrays just wanted to let you know how they work basically give you the the gist of it because uh, giving you any more than what I have I feel like it just it's not going to sink in anyway, so I think the best thing to do uh, with arrays um, is to just, you know, just do a search, like g fourth arrays or something, whenever you're going to, you're planning on putting, you know, using some arrays. Uh, and that's a good way to, it's a good thing to just do that just to be safe anyway, uh, just because you are poking around in memory and you can cause other issues if your program, you know, when your program's poking around in memory, so... Uh, arrays, as you can see, they're a little bit more complicated or uh, a little bit more dangerous than arrays in other languages, especially more modern languages, but they're simple enough. And the simplicity is, uh, actually, if I tried to explain how arrays work under the hood in other languages, um, it would probably be more complicated. Um, so at least understanding how they work is simpler. But uh, they're just more dangerous, I guess. But anyway, in the next video, we're gonna uh, we're gonna detect some key input from the user. So from the console, you know, you can talk to the user and get some get a response and that kind of thing. It's gonna be fun. Thanks for watching. Peace out.